Come, children, have a seat. Let old Grandpappy Lobster tell you a story from my time. You see, when I was a little boy, video games were simple. There was no social media interaction. There wasn't even VoIP. If you wanted to play with friends, you had to have them over for a LAN party or play split screen on console. And the only mobile games were Snake and Sudoku preloaded on cell phones and you couldn't download more. And you're not going to believe it, but in my time, when you paid full price for a game, you got the entire game. I know! And full games only cost $60. And DLC didn't exist. And loot boxes were gained for progression and not for sale. All right there, Granddad. That's enough story no. time from the early no, 2000s. Wait. I was about to tell them how games were updated for free and, and companies cared about their player bases. And all right, all right, wait, that's enough. But, no but, need to get their hopes but, up. We all know but, video games are for shareholders now. But what about Warframe and Path of Exile? Oh, Granddad, we all know Warframe's just a myth. But, now come on, if you're quiet on your ride back to Shady Acres, but, we'll stop but, by EA and you can pre-order Anthem. You want that? Please no. Come on. Ah, oh, making videos is hard. <clears throat> Alright, you goofy fucks. E3 is happening right now, and I feel compelled to bitch for a few minutes, so here we go. So, everybody remember No Man's Sky? And how everybody, including myself, pre-ordered it after watching the trailer, and then it launched, and met every expectation, and was a complete and functional game? Hmm, what? You don't remember that? Oh, well, you guys remember Destiny 2. You don't? Well, allow me to jog your memory. It was an $80 multiplayer PvE game with 6 hours of story and maximum 12 hours of unique playable content. You know, the one that had 2 rounds of DLC and a garbage PvP mode that they refused to fix and that ended up fracturing the player base and is now just a sad meme? Yeah, that one. Anywho, you guys remember Mass Effect Andromeda? Yeah, that one. I just want you to take a good, long look at it. I know it's hard, but you need to see this. Remember all the memories from the first three games? The story? The struggle? The drive to continue playing? Good. Now look at it. Look what they did. I played Mass Effect 1 and 2 for days, and I even played 3 right until the end. EA killed Mass Effect so resources could be shifted to another game. And I shouldn't have to say this, but it needs to be said. Don't pre-order Anthem. If you care about the future of video games at all, you need to send a message. And that message is, don't pre-order Anthem. But, a Grumpy Lobster, don't you think you are being a little harsh? I mean, come on, the game isn't even out yet, and the trailer looks great. No. EA will get my respect when they earn it. And since Titanfall 2 is now emptier than EA's commitment to no more loot boxes, and their track record as far as fucking over their player base in the name of profit has been dismal for the last five years, I think they may have a hard time gaining my trust back. And that's not to say I hate loot boxes. Overwatch has loot boxes you can buy, and I couldn't care less, because they're cosmetic only. And servers and programmers and designers and art people aren't free, so if some schmuck wants to blow 50 bucks on loot boxes and fund the next hero or map for the rest of us, I honestly don't care. As long as the game stays uh, balanced and free. And in some cases, rare cases mind, but still sometimes, even non-cosmetic loot boxes can be fine in games like Ironsight. In this instance, I don't mind loot boxes that contain weapons and gear because the game is fairly well balanced, and the grind for new weapons is very manageable. Plus, it's free to play. I mean, it's still a shitty Twitch shooter with netcode issues, broken snipers, and toxic player base, but at the end of the day, it's a free to play game where you can get new weapons with hours of grind, not weeks, and that puts it in leagues way ahead of similar games. Uh, so, what's the purpose of this video? You should play Warframe. Ha, you thought this was a video trashing Anthem, 
while it was actually my review of Warframe all along. My genius knows no bounds. I knew my friends wouldn't let me make a video on Warframe without demanding to check it for inaccuracies and give feedback, inevitably leading to multiple rewrites. Just because they're all founders with thousands of hours in game, and they think they know everything, but I'll show them. No Man's Sky, space travel, resource gathering, Destiny 2, multiplayer PvE, crafting, exploration, the Mass Effect franchise, story and character creation, Titanfall 2, a fluid movement system and great PvP, and Iron Sight, a manageable grind with a huge number of weapons and customizations. Plus it's free to play. All the good parts of those games, and almost none of the drawbacks. That's Warframe. And now you know my true motives. And with the fanboys gone, I'm free to continue my review. <laughs> oh, oh, ooh, ooh, no, 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 no. <coughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Warframe is a game where you play as a god fighting against insects. Like, an entire game built around that airport scene from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, except you're playing as the AC-130 gunship on legs. No free game has ever made you feel as powerful as you are in Warframe. Well, maybe Path of Exile, but that's another video. Warframe has everything you could want in a game. Frames with abilities ranging from powerful, room-clearing CCs to compelling stealth and everything in between. Weapons both powerful and satisfying at range, and devastating up close. Levels from closed and claustrophobic to huge and sprawling. And... <coughs> oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. And a story capable of standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with any AAA juggernaut. Now, this sounds like I think Warframe is flawless, which I don't. First things first, if you want things early on, the grind is very real. Expect running bosses 5 to 20 times to get all the parts you need to build frames. And running farming runs for about 1 to 2 hours to build most weapons is quite typical. After mastery rank about 15, you don't really need to farm resources anymore, with a few exceptions, but for special items and new weapons and frames, you will always need to be willing to farm, even at the level cap. The second issue I have with the game is there is little to no end game content. Most of my friends after hitting level cap, or getting close to it, farm for things to sell in the market, a task I find endlessly tedious, so just don't start playing expecting an ending is what I'm saying. The story is really good, but it does get a bit old waiting for the next chapter via cinematic quest twice a year. And third is not really a problem for me, but may cause grief for newer players. If you want to have any fun with Warframe at all, you need to play with people, which means joining a clan. If you have friends who play, great, join their clan. But if not, you can always try the Reddit Warframe recruitment boards or on the Warframe forums. Most clans are super casual, just make sure to ask if they have any rules or resource contribution requirements before you join. And that's it. Well, I mean, that's not even close to describing even 10% of all the content in Warframe, but there's not much I can say without spoiling stuff. It's even got PvP. I mean, nobody plays it, but as far as PvP goes, it's really, really good. And the game is free, so get it off Steam, boot it up, and try it for yourself. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. I will now list off to you the best items in the game. And before you ask, there is no best Warframe. They all have strengths and drawbacks. If you're new to the game, farm Jackal on Venus until you get Rhino, and then you're good until you can afford Frost and Navara, and then that's 99% of all the game right there. Okay, we good? Good. Best melee, Galantine Prime. Grumpy, the gram with the ribbon has a high theoretical damage. Shut the fuck up. Galantine Prime. Best secondary, Aklex Prime. Best assault rifle, Tiburon Prime. Though but, I use the yeah, Super Vandal because um, I have Great but, Ribbon. But, but what about Best the, Sniper Rifle. But, Vectus but Prime. The Shut up. Best Bow. Rack but, to Cernos. But, but the dread. And finally, Best Shotgun. Archiplasmor. No, no, no. The Tiger's Prime had so much oh, more oh, damage. Yeah? And it has oh, a yeah, higher yeah, yeah, base yeah. The damage. The Tigress? And, yeah, okay, and, okay, and, okay. And what about okay, the, okay, the, the, the Tigress? Yeah. Can the Tigress do this?
No, fucking fight me. Oh, and uh, don't don't pre-order Anthem. That 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 part was real.